Hello everyone, Ross the Music Teacher here. Another short lesson for guitarists today. I really want you guys to pay attention to these Chord Changes Solved videos. These are actually really, really important. They're very high level technique. So I'm showing you how to go between two chords and I'm making it a little bit easier by using some tricks of the trade, which I originally learned from my teacher, Ben Cantu. I've expanded upon for myself and I'm sure other people that he's taught and Ricardo Isneola's taught have expanded on too. But this is very valuable information. So even if you're not trying to learn these two chords or the ones from the last video, I suggest you go through each one because you're gonna learn strategies to make things easier on you so that you don't just have to sit there doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. So today's chord, which I found in comment section of the last video, the chord change is C open, C major open, so we have a regular C major open, and then we're going to be going to the barred C minor chord. Now, how are we going to make that change without fumbling all over the place? Well, we're going to do this in two stages, and it's going to be a lot of fun, so let's check it out. All right, everybody. Today, what we're gonna be learning how to do is how to set up a preparation finger that we are gonna slide down the fretboard there. We're also gonna learn how to switch to the shape on the way, okay? So rarely when you're doing a tough chord change, and this one's not the easiest because you know we're starting here and then we're gonna have to move down there. And I mean, granted, it's not the hardest, but you're still doing a jump to a bar, so there's a couple strategies that are gonna make this a lot easier. First thing is first, we're gonna be setting up a guide finger. My free finger here, the pinky, I can place on the G string and slide it up to help me make the C minor chord. Now the C open chord is three of A, two of D, open G, first of B, open high E. Now for the C minor chord, we're also doing three of A, right? But then we're gonna be doing five of D, five of G, four of B, and three of high E. So now we have our open C, and we're gonna place this pinky, slide it up to the fifth fret, and then make our C minor chord and stop. Now don't worry about how smooth it is. What I want you to worry about is getting that pinky on the string during the slide, and then setting up your chord. So that's stage one. Just get comfortable with this. There's your slide, you set up the chord. Now what we're gonna do after you do that is we're gonna learn to just place the pinky and set these two fingers. So we're gonna do place the pinky, boom, and then set these two fingers. So it's like the same chord shape as this. So place the pinky, set the fingers. Place the pinky, set the fingers. Now get used to that. And then what we're gonna be doing as our third step is we're gonna be doing both at the same time. So if I'm doing C, I'm placing and setting on the way, and then I place my bar. Now this, you know, pretty rough chord change looks like one movement when you speed it up, but it really is a series of smaller movements that you learn to execute simultaneously. And you can really sit there and focus on this pinky, right? Pinky guides you up and you place on the way. And you can really sit there and just hammer this thing out, but when you do it, make sure you are practicing A, sliding the pinky, and B, just placing and placing, so that you can learn to make the shape on the way up to the chord. So, like, subscribe, do all the stuff, thank you, and please practice this, this will help you.